If you don't have a good health, you cannot help other people. And that is the major part. So the meditation practice is so important. That means you med meditation to maintain your good health, so you can help other people. And in the Taoism, apparently, have a lot, a lot of healing meditations, and one of the most, and very powerful one also. So the one that we going to uh, talk now uh, is the meditation of you either microcosmic or fusions. Okay? When you do the fusion and you draw the energy, guide the energy into the spine and into the brain, sometimes some people they call washing the marrow. Now uh, when you wash it, when you bring the energy in, and after that you're using your mind to extract the energy from the heaven, from the cosmic in, and when you feel some kind of, some kind of feeling, for example, like for me when I, when I get the energy that I feel very heavy on my crown, or heavy in my mid eyebrow, and I know that that kind of energy coming to me, and I bring them all the way down, and I feel some kind of numbness, tingling, or electricity flow in me. And uh, for for me, my practice, I think a lot of you will get it also. You can feel like something very deep in the bone. And to to empower this kind of taking energy in, you um, you can add in the um, uh, uh, activate the kidney, activate the sexual scent energy, because the kidney have the power. Con connecting with the bone also, and the chi also. And uh, so usually we say kidney producing chi from the kidney. Apparently we say the kidney store the original, part of the original energy. That when, when we are born, we energy come from the outside, go into the navel, pass to the kidney, get out to the sexual center, and move in the microcosmic area. And that's what the, the, one of the theory of the Tao practice. So we start with the uh, 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 warming the navel, and uh, so we sit properly, and we do the ma uh, bone, uh, uh, the abdominal breathing. Rest. Cover your navel and feel your navel warm. When you feel your navel warm, and that is the activate of your own, we call original energy inside you. The next one, we're going to spiral the stomach, massaging the kidney. So you move your, move your uh, abdominal this way. And you feel that, like moving in a circle, but you feel it massaging your kidney. So you at least do 36 times to 72 times. And I feel that it massaging your kidney. Rest. If you put your hand, one hand cover the navel, one hand cover the kidney. That will help you activate your kidney area, kidney energy. Make sure you feel the kidney and the um, the kidney and the navel warm, and that is part of the original power. When you have the energy, the chi, it will extract and draw more chi. And that is what the, uh, uh, the same when you have uh, the battery, when your battery have charge, it will take more energy in. But when the energy has no charge, uh, you cannot start your car. You know? And this, put your right hand. 
put your left hand cover the sexual center. Now when you feel this three area warm, this is your original power and you can, you can start it to, when you start the fuel energy, um, if you do the fusion, if you can picture the front, back, left and right part qua, and inhale, draw the energy into it, inhale, draw the energy into it, it's just like the, um, uh, it, that is the part, beginning part of the bone marrow, or we call bone breathing, condensing the energy. We call condensing the energy in. So you draw the energy from outside, condense it in, into your lumbar region, front, back, left and right. And especially when you activate your kidney, navel, sexual energy, it will give you a power to condense and draw the inside. Okay. For me, you know, the way I, I feel is that when I occasionally go back to the kidney, occasionally I feel the sexual energy, and I aware of my lumbar regions. And it seems like I have a feeling that I can absorb and suck the energy into my bone. When you feel the energy in your bone, the next thing you're going to get is a lot of chi. You have a lot of chi because it comes from, uh, uh, from the kidney, come from the sexual center, and the bone marrow itself. Okay? Now when you feel energy, Use your mind, guide the energy down and guide the energy up to the crown. And I wear the North Star and the Big Dipper. You just picture it and feel the energy come down to your head. You may feel a, a numbness. You may feel a numbness in your crown, in your head. When you feel numbness in your head or heaviness in your crown, and that is you connecting with the universal force. You can guide them down to your mouth, breathe into your mouth, feel some energy build up in your mouth, and the energy started to pre-digest in your mouth. And usually you're going to feel cool, night tingling um, energy in your mouth. And let it flow down to your chest, to your ribcage, and to your sternum. The way I do is I occasionally go back to the kidney, sexual center, and the navel. And I come back to where what I work on, you know. And it seems like it gives me certain type of feeling that I can absorb the energy into the bone. And um, it's quite simple, it's not hard at all. But in the olden time, or even now, they make the bone marrow to be very complicated also. All you have to do is just feel the energy, numbness down to your ribcage, to your sternum. And the other way, you feel the numbness, let it flow down to your neck. You may feel a numbness down to your neck, smile to your neck, and down to your thoracic, and down to your lumbar. Like for me, I feel it. Like a numbness tingling going down from the top, all the way down to my spine. And I wear the kidney and sexual center energy a little bit, and it seems like I can use my mind suck in, condense, exhaling into my bone and going down to my feet. You know your feet have the biggest bone which is producing a, red, a lot of red blood cell. The raw bone that they discovered that producing a lot of red blood cells and our body needs those a lot. Down to your arm, to your finger, 
Now open your eye. Put your hand out. Just your armpits open a little bit. Very relaxed and smile and look at your palm. And now look at the tip of your finger. And um, uh, uh, let me add, in order to train your eye to look at the aura and grow the energy, you have to use the corner of the eye to look at it. I don't know, uh, you just like, when you look at something, look, look at something, but after that, you try to use the corner of the eye to look at it. Okay? And uh, the corner eye can pick up something more better than the than, uh, and, and, uh, than normal eye. And this is the training that um, in the Tao discover a lot. So like 12 o'clock, and you spread your eye on the corner like 1 or 3 o'clock. And you gradually maybe can feel like a double image. When you can feel something in your finger, you can use your mind to grow them. You look in, both eyes look in the middle. Both eyes look in the middle. But the corner of both eyes look at the, fing the tip of the finger. Now, when you feel one finger is more energi energetic than the other one, you can grow the, the finger, finger you know? and that is what we call by the major healing finger. Usually, you're going to find out index and middle finger, mostly, or the thumb. Very seldom people have pinky finger, or the ring finger, very seldom. Okay? But uh, the rest, you're going to feel in this finger. Now put your hand down, and this one we call the short, uh, short hand. Short hand, and uh, short hand is for protecting also, for sending energy also, okay? When you have sick energy, and uh, you want to protect yourself, you can do this way. Put your finger in and hold this one. We call a thun this one we call a, a thunder. This is thunder hand. This is a short hand. Fine water, fine water finger. Combine. And when, when usually when you feel a sick energy come to you, you can put it on the back or the kidney. We call the door of life. Protecting the door of life. So that like thunder protecting your door. And this one, a short hand, you can project the energy out and send the sick energy and burn out the sick energy. And you're preventing yourself. And uh, often time, when you do it for a while, or when you're actually healing, you can use this one to heal and use this one to protect. Or when you do it and you have a chance to sit down one or two minutes, you can use, uh, use this hand to just, just to send the energy. Usually like, like the... Um, to make a cross energy that way, and you protect it, you know, and uh, and uh, and this also very similar with what the Catholic uh, are doing something like that, but this is uh, in in the Taoism. This is more more we call energetic way, energetic. I mean, you 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 have a sword and you have a thunder, which you uh, you protecting you, and you practice it. So the way to practice is you put your hand, you receive energy to the left hand, and let the, feel the energy flow to your crown. And on the crown here, you feel a north star and a big of energy come down to the crown, flow back to your short finger. So you receive energy, you send out. And this one has a lot of power protecting you. So you try it out when you feel some kind of sick energy come to you, use your hand, and when you feel that you can project this energy, you can send energy and, this, and, and, and burn the energy out, and this one in this position and it's protecting you. It's protecting uh, uh, just something you have to try it out, you see. <laughs> something that you have to try it out and it works for you. We have many other things that can help, and this is one of the helping. 
okay and um, and when you finish um, often time when you have a chance to sit down you can uh, uh, if you can associate it with feel your navel warm like sun inside your navel also help okay so you sit down you feel your navel warm and learn how to absorb the energy from the universe into you, especially the bone. And uh, we will talk about later on the bone chewing sick energy that the other people come in. When the people sick energy entering into you and absorbing into your bone, that is the harder sick, harder sick energy that you can get out. It can take years and years to take it out. You know? So. Um, uh, if you can absorb the energy into your bone structure from the bone marrow, okay, and this will help you, protecting you from sickness. And otherwise, the sick energy, when it comes in by layer by layer, the deeper layer get into your bone. But when you do the uh, meditation like microcosmic, get the energy into the spinal cord, draw the energy from the universe down into your sternum, down into your spinal cord, down into your bone in your hand, down to your leg bone, down to the leg. And that one will help you preventing you from, um, from the, uh, uh, um, absorbing and taking in sick energy. Okay? And that is the um, very important practice. Okay? So let me let, let, uh, review the whole thing for you again. We start with warming up the navel. Kidney, sexual center. If you do the fusion, you can make a lot of pakwa around your body. You know, if you want to do bone breathing, you can picture pakwa in all the body. Side that you're going to draw the energy in. Make a pakwa on the head, draw the energy from all over you, and condense the energy down to you. Now, when you um. Uh, when you started to feel the energy condensed in your navel, use your mind to guide the energy down to perineum up the spine, and that is the, the, the beginning of the washing the marrow. So get the energy in, up to the brain, I wear the North Star and the Big Dipper and feel, for me I feel like something numbness tingling into my brain, and I know that I'm in touch with the energy. I draw the energy in, into my brain, and then washing the brain marrow in my scalp, activate the bone marrow in my scalp. And then down to the ribcage, the sternum, which will producing a lot of white blood cells. So the, it depends so much on your, on your bone marrow, you know. <laughs> if your bone marrow is not, uh, not healthy, and uh, it's very hard to do anything. And, um, and you feel it coming down to your cervical, coming down to thoracic, coming down to the lumbar. For me, I actually feel like some kind of numbness, tingling, something happened inside there. I feel it very clear. So I can assure you this is real. You know? And uh, it's really real. And you just continue to breathe down, down and down into your... The major part is when you feel, make your navel and your kidney warm, it seems like uh, navel, kidney, and sexual center warm, it seems like it has a power of absorbing in. Or, because when you activate the kidney energy and the sexual energy, that is the one major energy try to build the bone marrow. Also, it's one part of the energy that try to build the bone marrow. So, but it, it lacks another component is the external energy in. So when you combine this in, uh, for me, it's very clear, you know, when I, sometimes back to the, the kidney, sometimes I even use my hand cover the kidney, and use my hand cover the uh, sexual center, and I, when I feel this energy, and I come back to draw the energy, and I wear my bone again, it seems like, t when three things combine, it seems like I have a sticking power. <laughs> it seems like, uh, uh, I don't know how to explain, you have to try it out, and maybe you can explain to me more clearly. When this three energy arises, uh, arises, it have a sticking energy or something like that. 
and it draw in into my book. So when I aware my aware my scalp, and I feel that it's actually absorbing in. It's just like uh, when you taking some kind of vitamin, you need to another kind of vitamin to take in in order to make it work for you. Like some cal some uh, calcium, you need some kind of vitamin C. And otherwise, the body don't know, don't know, don't know how to take the white, 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 calcium into the bone into the bone. And this one, the same thing that uh, uh, especially later on, you're going to see that um, we, 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 we do more in the greater and greatest kind of thing, because the, the sun, apparently the, the, the light of the sun, one spectrum, usually in the morning, in the morning time. And the spectrum of yellow color, the spectrum of yellow color, and uh, you have to learn how to look at the sun, and you single out the yellow color, and you can absorb it in, and that element, and that sunlight, pass the uh, kidney, sexual energy, and the mind, you take the energy in. You see, you can actually take the energy into the, into the, uh, into the bone. And that is the different part on the, uh, in the element, okay? And uh, the microcosmic or the fusion. If you lose fusion, you're already doing a lot of, we call the bone marrow breathing and growing already. Because the fusion, you can build all the pakwa, condense the energy from outside into the body. And it's happened that way. And when you have a lot of chi in the bone, you don't are afraid of picking up too much, uh, uh, sick energy. And the sick energy cannot go into your bone, you know? And the worst, as I mentioned again, the worst, the worst sick energy that you can pick up is the cold, chill, sick energy into the bone. And that can take you many years to figure it out. So sometimes for the sake of few, uh, 20, 40, 40, or 50 dollars, and uh, you pick up the sick energy which you're going to spend you 5 years or 10 years to get rid of it, <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs>